what can i do to boost my hair growth would doing braids simply just make my hair grow are there extra things i have to do hi there beautiful person welcome to my channel where i talk about hair and some random stuff which you probably don't care about but i'm still gonna tell you if you are hearing bird noises please ignore it i live beside a very big tree and there is nothing I can do about it please listen to what I'm saying and ignore the birds so today I'm going to be talking about how you can grow your hair even while you have braids in as you can see I have braids in my hair has been growing <laughs> you click this video so I'm guessing you either have braids in and you're wondering what you can do to make sure your hair is growing or you're thinking of getting braids and you're wondering what can I do to boost my hair growth would doing braids simply just make my hair grow or are there extra things I have to do while the braids are in to make my hair grow you're in luck because today I'm going to be telling you all the things you need to do to your hair while it is in braids in order to make sure that your hair is growing and your hair is staying healthy so stay tuned so I've had my braids for over two weeks now and as you can see the braids are like really loose now which shows that my hair has been growing this is how they look like the day that i made them and this is how they look now a little over two weeks after when i first installed these braids i didn't really take a video of them and even if i did record itself i changed my phone like last week so the quality would have been protective styles like braids are actually really good for hair growth but a lot of people think that simply getting braids is going to make your hair grow which is not true because if you make braids and you just abandon your hair within the braids by the time you are losing your braids you're going to be shocked at the amount of breakage that you're going to have because if you make braids your hair is tucked away your hair is in one place that's good for hair growth and length retention but if you are just leaving your hair there you're not taking care of it it's going to get dry you're just it's not it's not very helpful you take a protective style and then you make it destructive so i have a regimen for when i have braids in it's different from my normal regimen but it still takes care of my hair the first thing you want to do is moisturize your hair you want to keep moisturizing your hair and this is why i'm so in love with knotless braids and first of all you start the braids with your natural hair and then your hair is pretty much exposed all throughout the braid so it is easy to get to your hair it is easy to moisturize your hair but if you are thinking of getting braids i advise that you get knotless braids have you tried knotless braids before if so let me know your experience down below in the comments i have a video on how i moisturize my hair in braids i'm going to link it up here or up here you get what i'm saying and i'm also going to link it in the description box down below so make sure you check that out but it is very important that you keep moisturizing your hair even when it is in a protective style it may not necessarily be braids even if you have mini twists mini braids any type of protective style you are still expected to continue to moisturize your hair if you don't moisturize your hair it's going to get dry and if your hair is dry it's going to break which is ultimately not the best for length retention so make sure that you keep moisturizing your hair even when you have protective styles in the next tip to making sure that your hair grows while it is in braids is to make sure that you are tying it up before you go to bed guys i cannot overemphasize how important this is just as how you can't go to bed with your natural hair just out like that because you know what you're gonna meet in the morning you shouldn't go to bed with your braids exposed because okay we've already mentioned the fact that you have to moisturize your hair now you've moisturized your hair and your hair is happy but then you sleep on a cotton pillowcase and you know the cotton pillowcase steals all that moisture away then your hair is like why'd you give it to me if you're just gonna take it away now not everybody agrees with this whole satin bonnets endeavor so if satin bonnets don't work for you then satin scarves you know personally i would recommend a satin scarf especially if you have like not less braids in when you tie the braids down it helps to reduce frizz we all know that not less braids and frizz are like this so make sure that when you are going to bed you have your satin scarf or your satin bonnet or your satin pillowcase i feel like if you have a satin pillowcase and you have like cornrows 
or box braids then go ahead but if you have not less braids it would be really nice if you could tie down your hair with a satin scarf before going to bed even if you have a satin bonnet because it will help the frizz to lay down and when you wake up in the morning your hair is like really really nice looking really really smooth you know what i'm saying the last thing but not the least is really really important and that is scalp care when you have braids in it makes it even easier because you have all these sections it's very easy to get to your scalp all you have to do is use your oil applicator bottle this is a short demonstration of how i oil my scalp the braids actually make it very easy i just run the oil through the sections like that and then i massage the oil into my scalp remember that massaging your scalp is part of scalp care at this point i got like so into it i decided to just quickly give myself a complete scalp massage and now i am done because if you abandon your scalp it's going to get very dry and itchy and flaky and it becomes very uncomfortable for you but if you keep moisturizing your scalp with your oils your growth oil or whatever oil that you use on your scalp you keep massaging your scalp your hair follicles are going to appreciate it and your hair is going to grow another part of scalp care is to keep the scalp clean i know a lot of you guys don't like washing your braids maybe because it's going to make the braids become heavy or it's going to take the braids forever to dry or whatever the issue you have with washing your braids but the thing is depending on how long you want to keep your braids in you have to wash your scalp every once in a while ideally you shouldn't have braids in for more than two months eight weeks max if you plan to keep your braids for up to eight weeks i wouldn't advise that you keep your hair for eight weeks without washing your scalp because your scalp is definitely going to have some buildup you know it's going to get dirty it's just like not bathing for it two months we all know how that's gonna go i have a video on how i wash my braids without having the water run all the way down the braids and waiting forever for the braids to dry so if you are interested in that video i'm going to link it up here and it's also going to be in the description box down below so make sure you watch that video after you watch this one till the end well, we're practically at the end so just just reach the end okay so for a quick recap Make sure you moisturize your hair, make sure you tie it up when you sleep, and make sure you keep taking care of your scalp. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any further questions, please hit me in the comment section below. If you found this video really helpful or you just like it, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my content, please subscribe to my channel because there is a whole bunch of stuff I've got planned. You do not want to miss it. So this is the end of the video. Have a nice day.